if you've been following me for the past year, you might have noticed that I went from around 600 subscribers um, in the start of 2023 to almost um, 114,000 subscribers in April of 2024. Um, now, you might be wondering well, how I did this and how sort of um, I got all this growth and how you guys can do the same with your channels as well. Um, so I just, made, I just wanted to make this quick little video just to show you guys some of the tricks that I use to grow on YouTube um, and why I wasn't able to grow for a really long time. And then I just used this one trick and it sort of helped me grow um, significantly on YouTube right um so the trick is actually pretty simple and i've made um a whole plan for you guys based on that trick um and let me just show you the plan right now so this is the plan um how to grow a, a youtube channel specifically a tutorial channel on youtube because that's what i've done that's what my channel is about um although i'm pretty sure you can use these same techniques on any other type of channel as well right so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're you're going to want to basically pick a niche in which you want to make your videos right if you've been following me um you, you might know that my videos are all about 3d animation and i basically teach blender i teach um a little bit of unreal engine and game development as well um but yeah so that's what my videos are around right um, so first you want to pick a niche, right? For you, this can be anything. It can, it can be like a software. If you want to make tutorials on that, if you, it can be a physical skill, if you like painting or something like that, you can just find any sort of skill that you want to make videos about. Now, the most important thing in picking a niche is that you actually want to be passionate about the thing that you want to teach, right? If you you have to sort of have a passion for the thing itself, because otherwise, if you're just going after money, if you're just going after, um, sort of like views and likes and all that stuff, then you're not going to last long on YouTube. That is something which is very important. You have to be passionate about the thing that you want to make videos about, right? So once you have a niche, what you want to do is you want to make 20 videos without doing any research. Just think about any video idea, any video idea that you think may get uh, views um, and just make videos on it. Don't care about quality. Don't care about uh, making your videos look better. Don't obsess over your videos being good. Your video videos are going to be trash in the start. Everybody's videos are trash in the start, if I'm being honest. Um, but you just want to make sure that you are focusing on quantity at that time because what that's going to do is that it's going to give you the basic skills um, and sort of like the basic uh, understanding of how YouTube works and how you can sort of make videos on YouTube because by the time you reach the video that is going to go viral, you have to make sure that the quality of that video is actually good. And before that, you obviously need quantity to build quality in your videos, right? Just make 20 videos without doing any research. Uh, now, again, the number 20 is a little bit, um, it's just a general number. It might, uh, in your case, it might be different because it depends on how long it takes you to make a video and how much time you're willing to sort of dedicate to YouTube. It depends on a lot of factors. So I would suggest you to do something around 20. So for some people, it might be less than that. For some people, it might be a little more than that. Then now comes the most important part. You have to find a market gap within your niche. Now, what exactly I mean by market gap? So if you uh, market gap is basically a business term. And what it means is that it basically means something which you can provide, which people need, which they are not getting in the market currently, right? So what I mean by that is basically you want to find something, some specific thing, which a lot of people want to see in your niche, but not many creators are making it. For me, that was language. What I did was if you go to YouTube and if you search for, let's say, Blender tutorials or Blender courses, you're going to see a lot of courses um, in uh, English, most of the courses, pretty much all of them are going to be in English, right? The problem that I identified was that if you search for Blender courses Urdu or Hindi, which is my local language, you're going to see that um, except for mine, there's not a lot of uh, very good content, right? Most of this content is English. And even the one, even the videos which are in Urdu or Hindi, they are very um, low quality or I would say they're somewhat outdated. Um, so what I did was I sort of identified that market gap. I was like, a lot of people in my country, they want to learn animation, but they can't find videos in their own local language. So that's so that's one market gap that I identified. And so you're going to see that if you go to my channel and if you sort by most popular, you're going to see that the most viewed video, it's around 2.1 million, million views right now. It is a course on Blender um, in Hindi slash Urdu, right? So essentially what I did was I sort of found a market gap, a something, something which people wanted to see, but there was not a lot in... Uh, what do you call it in the market, right? And similarly, if you look at the second most popular video, you're going to see that again. This is Mid Journey. It's an AI tool to create art, but it's also in Urdu or Hindi, um, which a lot of people can't find online. And similarly, under Engine 5 in Hindi, a lot of people can't find that. Now, later on, I did switch my channel's language to English, but in the start, it sort of helped me give my channel a boost and it sort of helped me grow, um, get me that initial... Um, uh, those initial uh, subscribers and all that stuff, right? So once you've found a market gap in your niche, it can be anything. It can be like language. It can be a specific thing inside your niche, which you want to make videos about. Um, once you have that market gap, what you want to do is you want to make around five videos on that specific topic. For example, if I uh, identified that people want to watch um, Urdu videos, what I did was I made five videos in Urdu, right? 
And after that, what I did was I just analyzed my videos. I saw which ones got views, which ones didn't get views. And so you can sort of, you can modify your strategy based on that. The videos that are doing good, you want to make more of those videos and the videos which are not doing that great, you, you want to make like less of those videos, right? And after five videos, if you can't find something which really got a lot of views, what you want to do is you want to repeat the whole process. You want to make um actually repeat from this part right then you can find another market gap and you can make five videos on that and then try to see which market gap gets you the most amount of views because oftentimes what's going to happen is that if you identify a market gap which is too narrow or too um specific not a lot of people are going to watch that you might misjudge the audience's um uh, interest in that topic and you might sort of make videos about something which is too specific which is obviously not going to get that many views so you want to try different market gaps you want to try different niches and you want to make five five videos on each niche or five five videos on each market gap and then you're, you're going to keep repeating until one video is going to go viral and that's going to change the whole landscape of your channel and then you can just focus on those types of videos in the future so that you can your channel can keep growing now one thing which i do want to mention is that your growth once you initially get that growth it is not going to stay the same right so if i look at this my channel went from around a thousand subscribers to quickly very quickly to around 60,000 subscribers which was pretty fast but then since then my growth has slowly been slowing down a little bit and that is perfectly normal that is something which is totally expected and what you want to do is you want to keep focusing on trying different types of niches trying different types of market gaps that's something which i'm currently doing as well and eventually you're going to find another video which is going to get go viral and it's going to sort of increase uh keep keep the cycle going basically keep the cycle of your growth of your channel going right because if you stop making videos if you stop making videos which actually go viral then your channel's growth is going to uh, stagnant quite a bit right so that's a simple technique a uh, simple strategy which i wanted to um share with you guys if you guys actually are following this strategy then be sure to comment down below your channel's name and i'll be sure to check your channel out and i'll try my best to give you personal feedback as well apart from that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope you learned something new if you have any questions regarding anything that i discussed in this video you can feel free to reach out to me in the comment section below and i'll try my best to respond to you but yeah that's pretty much it for this one i'll see you in the next one goodbye